What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. This is your boy, the Adam Sling. How you day? Welcome to another crazy video. So, please try as much as possible to support your boy, like this video, comment, and uh, share it with friends. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram at Adam Sling Media, and also make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And uh, that's all, guys. So, let's discuss. Let's discuss something. You know, uh, recently, Nigeria rep, rep uh, trying to pass a law that we see all cross-dressers in Nigeria go to jail for six months or pay a fine of 500,000 naira. And we have seen a lot of cross-dressers that we already identify as cross-dressers already being afraid. And uh, they are trying as much as possible to clean their name before that law is being passed or maybe they might get them arrested. One of the person that really shocked me is James Brown, who openly denied being a cross-dresser. Even be before the law even comes out, before it's even been passed, they are just delibri uh, deliberating on it and discussing it. It's not as if they will intend to pass the law. They might not pass the law, but there are many cross-dressers already being afraid. Someone like James Brown said she's not a cross-dresser. So I'm going to read what uh, she wrote. Sorry for using the word she for her. She for him, sorry. She said, point of correction, I am not a cross-dresser. I am a drag queen. Do your research before you come for me. My job is to entertain you, my personality and beauty. You already know the vibe. I am a comedian. You thought I was making you laugh for no reason. I am a princess of Africa. The bill has nothing on me. Don't underestimate the power that I carry. Ask my fans. Ask those that know me personally. On a daily basis, I give you James without all the glam and the feminine touch. Let me enjoy my life. I was also surprised. There are lots of cross-dressers. There are lots of LGBTQ community people out there in Nigeria who kind of like see some certain kind of closure with all those people like Jess Brown, Bob Risky, and all the rest. But I think they will be disappointed now, knowing for the fact that they are just using that platform to make money. Well, surprisingly, another person who denied, who denied being a cross-dresser again is uh, Bob Risky. Although he denied being a cross-dresser, but he admitted to something worse, according to Nigerian law, worse than cross-dressing. Well, it's quite unfortunate to do. Well, I'm, well, honestly, I was uh, kind of like surprised that uh, Bob Risky is taking the risk to admit that openly again that whenever it's time to get her arrested, in fact, according to her, according to what I understand by what she's saying, she's ready to die. She's ready to go for it. She's ready to stand by what she believes. She said, I am not a cross-dresser. I am a woman. I've done many surgeries that can be that can't be re reversed, such as lipo, boobs, etc. When the time comes, Ibu court said will confirm, say I am now a girl. Still have many upcoming surgeries to be done. Now who be cross dresser? Go the fear. I have all my doctor's report on all my surgery. So when the time comes, my lawyer will sort all of that for me. Wow. She says she's not a cross-dresser. You, should, you shouldn't call her a cross-dresser. In fact, calling Bob Risky a cross-dresser, according to her, is an insult. She's way more than a cross-dresser now. She doesn't just cross-dress. She's a full-blown woman. Formerly a man who has undergone all those typical surgery to finally identify as a woman. So I think it's an insult when you start calling Bob Risky a cross-dresser. So uh, let's talk about uh, cheating. Sorry, I want to ask this question. How would you love to be cheated on? How? What kind of scenario? What kind of... Uh, how do you want your girlfriend or your boyfriend to cheat on you? Well, I'm going to read uh, some few. It's a lie because of heartbreak before. I met her on the bed riding another guy and money and sweating and riding so hard. It wasn't a joke. It was so painful and hard to deal with it for months. Well, that is so painful, guys. And this guy said, 
just last, just last week, I said, right now, I mean right now, my babe is currently in another man's house, knocking. She told me she's traveling home for Easter. Little did she know that I had read all her chat with the guy. The guy had sent RTP to come over and she told the guy how she is going to treat him with a premium knocking and has the guy to be patient till they meet. She left on Saturday. I even took her to the park and all that myself. Peace. I know if not sex, I did knock her till she come like three times without numbers. If not hunger, I did stop the house with food. If not money, I did give her even though I know say she still gets. She did tell me say I did treat her well cause I do almost all the cooking cause I'm a chef. So waiting she want. I'm okay and losing my mind at the same time brother this bed sheet is the same with the one in the guy's room when she requested for a pics of his room in their chat well so i said so last week i took her home to meet my people again just for her to feel rest assured again because i've got to know about the ish she's doing but i guess she's already made up her mind now so she packed say she did travel go house for easter meanwhile hmm, she has finally messaged me tonight because her number has been switched up since morning i told her i called her mom and and my siblings to make arrangement for us to get married before the end of the year wait for the screenshot guys I've got nothing to hide from y'all all again. Our DM belongs to y'all. Enjoy. So this girl, this guy is kind of like, uh, of course, his girlfriend lied to him, told him that, uh, told him that she's uh, going home for Easter. This Easter, this Easter that's coming, uh, coming Friday, coming Monday, next week Monday, this Easter. And meanwhile, she didn't know that her boyfriend already knew about the Kurukere Waka she's about to do and uh the guy the girl is currently with another guy collecting a long huge cucumber and meanwhile the guy is just there knowing for a fact that this girl is cheating on him and yet he's still so calm he allowed this girl to go knowing for the fact that this girl is going to cheat on you well so the reason why i had how you want to be cheated on this is the reason why I myself, uh, if I want to break up from a relationship, uh, I prefer if if that girl is cheating, I prefer that girl cheats on me. That is the only reason why I can really let a girl go. If a girl cheats on me, there is no amount of love that I have for you that will make me take you back. Never. And I will never regret it. But if I break up from a relationship without that girl cheating on me and being respectful, not abusive, honestly, if we break up and we are no longer together, I still think about you. I still think about the matter in a little way. But it's not as if I will kind of like missing you, but I still think about you. The only time that I do not actually think about any girl is when I know that girl is knocking another guy. And then you are not my real girl, girlfriend. Though. You are not my real girlfriend. But if you are my real girlfriend, I dated you. And I know you are knocking another guy. Just know that you are dating yourself. And whatever I'm doing with you is just enjoyment. Enjoying myself. And when the time comes, when you are tired of yourself, you will find your level and go just be there and i will never never regret living such there so that is can never take back the cheating person never and i'll check this uh, narration from a guy who decided to go out with a girl but the girl end up bringing so many of her friends and he end up marrying one of the girl's friends the guy said i met a lady in this group 
TIA around January 2020. We started talking, so I invited her on a date on the 7th March 2020. On the receipt, she came along with three of her friends. In fact, I was very surprised. After everything, the waiter bought me the bill with a small sheet of paper containing telephone number. I called the number the next day. Shockingly, it was one of her friends she came with to come and chop my money. We became friends and fast forward we started dating. Because I stopped talking to that lady because of what she did, how can you bring your friends along along a date? We will be getting married this year. I know she's not aware I'm dating a friend from after that date. I know she's reading this because I want her to know, I want her or anybody to come and be saying, not to come and be saying, my wife to be is a boyfriend snatcher. I want peaceful wedding. Next time, when someone invites you on a date, go alone. Exactly. Guess what? I know uh, I know that lady will respond saying that, talking about that different story that that her friend snatched this guy. Hacks you out on a date. Instead of you to come alone, or if you are not comfortable, you can pick a pick a venue yourself and say, okay, you know, I'm just meeting you for the first time and I'm not comfortable hanging out with you alone. So you know what, please allow me to pick a venue so that you can meet me there, we can meet there. Understandable if you are afraid. But when you come with one friend, two friends, three friends to come on a date with you, automatically you just want to eat that guy's money. I have never experienced it before myself. I have never experienced it before. And I do not think I will ever experience it because I'm already grown now. The day I ever had any get out on a date, which, which I'm not going to do anytime soon, I do not think I'm going to ever... Okay, let me, let me not go there. The day I will ever have to get out in, on, on a date and bring your friends along with you, I promise you, I will just stand up and walk away. I will walk away immediately. I will not say nothing to you because you are you are the one I asked out on the, I asked out on the date. I was doing ask all your friends on the date. And this guy is extremely lucky. Well, God, they have a way of showing you to your wife. And uh, God did that for you. Congratulations and uh, I wish you all the best. And meanwhile, guess this out. Regina Daniel recently shared a chat with her mom. And uh, she revealed that mom just gave her the sum of 5 million naira. 5 million naira, guys. Just for enjoyment. Regina Daniel mom. Mr. Daniel gave Mr. Daniel 5 million naira just for enjoyment. Why wouldn't she give Mr. Daniel 5 million naira? Do you know the amount of blessing that girl has single-handedly brought to that family? You know the amount of joy, the amount of comfort, the amount of sacrifice that girl has done? For me, Mr. Daniel deserves all the kudos, all the enjoyment, all the millions our mother might be giving to her. Because she knows she's going to get times two back later. So they deserve everything. That girl really trial. She See, what she did is a huge sacrifice. Let's, I don't want to go very deep into it, but let us just know that. And she deserved that. And uh, before we end this video, uh, Portable was almost beaten in Edo State recently in Benin. This guy needs to really know how to control his anger. Whenever he's being called to perform, you will either see him doing one thing or the other. Misbehaving. Although we know uh, some fans are very, very annoying, uh, uh, can really get you upset, but you are a star and you should know how to control your attitude. And as long as bouncers are everywhere, see, it takes just one bullet when you don't go. It takes just one uh, spray bullet and you just go. I know you are feeling purpose, one fight, you get power. You just take one bullet. So for me, just run into your car and just go and continue enjoying your life. After all, you may have collected the money for the show. 
So why are you staying behind and making it look like something else? Don't fight anybody. Don't fight anybody. Allow your boys to do the fighting. If not, by the time they shoot you once, uh, if you, the next thing we got to hear for a bad story of another that dream. But God forbid, though, we are not going to hear that. And uh, here's a clear version of uh, the fight that happened between Bianca Ujuku and Governor, ex Governor Obiano's wife. Here's a really clear version of the incident. Well, she thought she could bully uh, Bianca Ujuku, and Bianca Ujuku almost dragged her head off her head. Well, uh, we have, we have uh, since passed that issue though, but this is like a clear version to actually show what really happened. You are saying Bianca Ujuku slap uh, the lady, but there was no slap there, but you can see it almost smacked the hair. Almost, yes, of course, they almost smacked, even smacked the hair out of her head. So that was like, Still regarded as a slap. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching the boy. Yeah, don't sleep, and I hope to see you next time. Don't go anywhere. Stay blessed. Bye.